Alright, video game lovers, we go here, part number two of this massive video game collection. More than 1300 PS2 games, uh, and this is part number two, so we got four different piles here that we're gonna, that we're gonna go through. Please, please remember, really quick, to hit the like button, comment, share, and of course subscribe if you are new to the channel. Uh, thanks for the support, and uh, there's way more videos to make, as you can see there. So we're gonna start where we left off, and we left off at <coughs> Cavella's Big Game Hunter uh, 2005 Adventures. Um, I'm gonna put it here. Then we have another Cavella's game, so Cavella's Big Game Hunter. Got quite a few Cavella games on the PS2. We got Casper Spirit Dimensions. Casper and the Ghostly Trio. <coughs> Not sure what's the difference between the two games. Cartoon Network Racing. I used to love Cartoon Network. I used to watch it all the time when I was little. Um, so it is great to have a game like this on the PS2. Again, the PS2 has an amazing library of games and you can find almost anything in there. So um, this one is okay. It's an okay racing game, but it's good to have your... You know, all the Cartoon Network characters from back in the day. Cartoon Kingdom, a Phoenix game, another one. Gotta get all those Phoenix games. Well, gotta get them all, actually. Car Fury, Championship Racing, racing game, which I don't remember too much. Car Racing Challenge, a firefight game, street game. Probably not very... Um, Common Car Wash Tycoon, another Phoenix game. Gotta love the Phoenix games. Uh, Carmen San Diego, the super, the secret of the stolen drums. It's like an interesting game, doesn't it? Uh, Captain Scarlet, Capcom versus SNK2, a very good fighting game. I love fighting games and. Capcom and SNK are always up there when it comes to fighting games, <clears throat> especially SNK. Capcom sometimes tends to do stuff that, um, that I don't understand. Capcom Fighting Game. Another Capcom Fighting Game. <clears throat> Capcom Classic Collection Volume 2. This is a comp compilation of um, all the great uh, Capcom games, classic Capcom games. And of course you have Capricorn Classics Collection, this is Volume 1. Um, so yeah, great, great collection. One of the best games I have ever played uh, on the PS2. And that is Canis Ka Canem Edit or aka Bully. Amazing. Capcom, please, please give us number two. Um, this was an amazing game. So basically GTA in a school environment. Um, not quite that big in terms of spectrum, but tr trust me, an amazing game. If you haven't played, give that game a try. It's going to be amazing. Uh, Call of Duty 3, a fine Call of Duty game. And Call of Duty 3 again, but this one is the not to be sold separately. Um, a variant. I don't really collect variants, um, so I have enough for one game, but if I'm game collecting and I happen to come across it, I'll just pick it up. So I don't go out of my way to collect them. In Call of Duty, uh, Finest Hour. I noticed that I'm doing the same thing that I did with the other ones. They are in alphabetical order, but a little bit disorganized. Um, <clears throat> but who cares? I mean, they still see, right? Cabela's Outdoor Adventure. Okay, and we we'll move on to um, very good games. Um, not as good as the classic games, but definitely very good games. And we've got Castlevania, which I believe uh, in North America is called Lament of Innocence or something like that. But here we s it's just Castlevania. Good game. Um, <clears throat> how do I put this? This. Um, Castlevania Curse of Darkness, the second game on the PS2. 
a game that is very good and is going up in price. I really like this game. Cut. Colin McRae Rally 04. I love racing games and I love Rally. Cold Fear, one of the best horror games out there. A total hidden gem, this game. If you love horror games, well, if you love horror games, first go and check my top 10 uh, horror games on the PC. That's the first thing you gotta do. And secondly, give this game a go because that game's there in that top 10, and this game is amazing. <clears throat> uh, Kids Next Door Operation video game. A uh, very fun cartoon back in the day, and they made a game out of it. Code of the Samurai, which is a, a game that I really liked. Uh, underrated in my opinion, it's a budget game, but it does a lot of things right. So, give it a go if you can. Clumsy Chumsy, another Phoenix game. Talking about great horror games, Clock Tower 3. Loved it, loved it. Made by Capcom, and you can definitely see it when you're playing it, has that Resident Evil vibe. But, it's less, much less action. Uh, classic British motor racing, racing game with British cars. Circus Maximus Charlotte Awards. <coughs> Short Q. I remember but back in the day these games were really um, common and I stupid me didn't pick them up and now they are they went up in price. I mean look at the price, I paid for that. And uh, I lost the opportunity to make some money. <coughs> Chess Master Chess game, championship manager five, a football manager like type of game, Charlotte Webb, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, platformer, Charlie's Annuals, one of the worst games on the PS2, trust me, <coughs> Chaos Legion. A Capcom RPG, which is um, basically quite fun. Soul Damage Overdrive. Very fun game. This is a game you should play, and I think it's in every console now, so I'll be surprised if you haven't. Celebrity Deathmatch, a really stupid game, but really fun. At the same time, you have all the celebrities. You have Mr. T, uh, Marley Mason, uh, Pamela Anderson, and... Uh, I think that's Buster Rhymes and many more. <clears throat> and Castle Win, a game I don't see too often, um, but it's not that expensive. It might be in the future. Alright, that's pile number one. Let's get more space here. Very careful because these piles could be quite heavy. Oh. Yep, we did it. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go to pile number two. Uh, Cold Winter. There you go. First person shooter. <coughs> uh, Colin McRae Rally 2005. I need to work on my alphabetic order. And Colosseum Road to Freedom, a Kobe game that I picked up recently. And it looks really cool, this game. Um, Crash to Insanity. Um, interesting, but not as good as the classic ones. Crash Team Racing, a game that I didn't like at all. Um, I am a big fan of the classic CTR. And that one just didn't do it for me. And then I got Crash Nitro Car, which was actually quite good. Not as good as the classic, of course, but very close to the formula they use in the classic CTR. Crash of the Titans, a game that I that I think it was a great, it was not a great, it was a good game, but de definitely too far from what made us fall in love with um, Crash Bandicoot. Fortunately, we have, you know, the old games remade, and that was great. 
Uh, Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex, which in my opinion was a really good game. People are giving this game a hard time. I don't understand why. I think this game was amazing. Okay, not as good as the first three. I have to agree with that, but this game nevertheless was an amazing game. Very similar to the first three games, which in my opinion is good because they were great. So having more of that is what I wanted and that's what I got. <coughs> Crush and Burn. Very good game. Very fun. Coraline, a game that is going up in price. Um it's a good platformer based on this cartoon or movie, not sure. Uh, Constantine horror game, um, underrated in my opinion, not the greatest horror game ever, but enjoyable nevertheless. Um, conspiracy, weapons of mass destruction, uh, looks like a first person shooter or third person, first person that I don't remember playing. Conflict Zone, one of the first PS2 games. Conflict Vietnam. Conflict games are, are okay, good, good games. Conflict Death Storm. <coughs> Conflict Death Storm 2. Great war games, this. Um, Conan. Commander 2, which is a good strategy game. And I love my strategy games. Commander's Strike Force. First person shooter. Combat Ace. Probably not a very good game. Good shot, Phoenix game, probably not a good game. I'm willing to bet everything I have. And you have Crash Bandicoot action pack, so it can take three games in one, the two racing ones and Crash, uh, and Crash Twin Sanity, which we actually just had a look at. Uh, so it's a very good compilation, very good to have, going up in price, this one. Crushed, this is a fun game, very good. Racing crashing game. Demon Seminar, not the best uh, horror game out there, but um, a little bit of an entertaining one. Um, if you look past all this bad mechanics and graphics, um, you actually have a little bit of fun uh, on this game. At least I did. Death by Degrees. DNA, Dark Native Apostle. A Hudson game. I need to revisit this. That's cool. The unit drift racing Phoenix game. So definitely not a good game. Um, uh, counter terrorism special forces, which I remember. I think I played this, but it wasn't that good. <clears throat> CSI crime scene investigation, three dimensions of murder. Um, I like investigating stuff and crimes and stuff like that. By the way, I'm playing uh, Disco Elysium on the Nintendo Switch. Amazing game. Give it a try if you like investigating those type of games. Amazing. Amazing story. Crushing Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Crimson Tears. Capcom game. And... Um, I think I played this game and I didn't like it that much. Um, Crisis Zone. Light Gun Game. Crimson C2. Another J. No, this is not a JRPG. This is like a uh, Japanese beat em up or something like that. Uh, Crime Life Gang Wars. A Konami published game. So, beat em up. Looks like on the streets. On the streets. Again, we get some more cricket. Cricket 2004. Hey, look. I'm going for a full collection of Cricket 2002 Australian and Cricket 2002 New Zealand. And then we got Crescent Suki Racing and Suki Racing Motorbike Game. Crazy Dogsy! You see, Crazy Taxi was amazing on the Sega Dreamcast, and then they ported it to PS2, which is still a good port, but it doesn't capture that Dreamcast vibe. <laughs> Man, I used to play this game so much. That was revolutionary back in the day. Great graphics for the time, great gameplay. 
crazy golf another phoenix game you know it's gonna be a bad game and crazy frog racer two this crazy frog is racing that's not a good combination okay third pile and then i'm gonna move the fourth this way so it is ready when we finish it on here oh man this could be heavy yep this could be heavy all right cool we got dance uk dancing type of game dance uk xl party cool 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 then we got defender a remake of the classic one i think <coughs> deep water a shark game <laughs> delta strike which has a really cool cover look at that but the game is bad deadly skies 3 haven't played it i think dead to rise 2 good dead to rise That I gym finish game. David Beckham soccer probably really really bad. Uh, Dave Mirrors freestyle BMX. These games used to be really fun back in the day playing with friends. Darwin, a game that nobody talks too much about, but I believe it's gonna be expensive in the future, and it only cost me eight dollars. Dark Chronicle, I still don't have Dark Cloud, I need to find it, very good game, Dark Angel, Dark, Dark, um, Dark Chronicle was a good game, not Dark Angel, Dancing Stage Supernova 2, not a dancing game, too many, Dancing Stage Supernova, Dancing Stage Max, Dancing stage mag, ma max mega mix. Wow. Well, there's more, there's more, there's more. Don't go away. Dance stage fusion. Konami. Dance party pop hits. Which I believe this one is not that fine, not that easy to find. Dance UK uh, extra tracks. And I think we finished those dancing games. Right. Move on. I've got Delta Force Black Hawk Down. War game. Nice. And we got Demon K. <coughs> Demon K, excuse me. Konami game. It's really cool. Beat him up. Disney Pixels Ratatouille. A 3D platformer. Almost always these type of games are really fun. Then we got Disney's Monster Inc. Here comes the Disney game. Disney Dinosaur Disney The Haunted Mansion which I'm assuming is a horror game for kids so I gotta give it a go one day <coughs> Disney Treasure Planet one amazing game for the PS2 and I do believe so it's Toy Story 3 um, Toy Story 1, the PS1, is one of my favorite games of all time. It is the first time I ever played, uh, the, the first game I ever owned, that I played on a console I owned, which was the PS1, and the first game I ever beat. So it holds a, play, uh, a very important place in my heart, and I played this one, and this one was really good. Uh, PlayStation 2 version is very different to the Xbox 360 version, okay? So if you play it twice, you get two different experiences. Disney Wally. Dino Stalker, a great light gun game. Very good. <clears throat> Demon World 4. I got this game from Portugal. Out of all places. For about $30. Happy with that. Then I got Digimon Rumble Arena 2. Which is not where near as good as the PS1 games. Fight me. Those PS1 games were 
man, I got so much memories playing with my friends. I, I always say that, but that's true. I, I played a lot of games with my friends back in the day when I was in South America, and I really miss those days, to be honest with you. Um, when I had nothing to worry about but playing games. The original Diabolic Sin, which is a game I never see anywhere ever. Is this game even out there? <laughs> Do I have the only copy in the world? <laughs> yeah, but finding that game is uh, probably impossible unless you're really looking for it. Um, Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening. Very good game. Not so good. Devil May Cry 2. And incredible game, Devil May Cry, the first one. Very good game. And I actually feel like going back and playing this game from scratch. And I think I will do it when I get the time. I will go again and play it. Devil Kings, a game that I didn't like too much. Destroy All Humans, twice. One is new, or seal, and the other one is not. I should sell one of those. Uh, Despicable Me. Going up in price. And talking about going up in price, this game was really cheap and now it's going up there. That's Demolition Girl. This is one of the weirdest games <laughs> in the history of games. Um, I'm not going to explain it to you. Go to YouTube and watch a uh, gameplay of this game and then have a good laugh. Okay, let's go to the last pile. We have Disney Golf. Beautiful. And we have. Disney's cars are um, matter national, matter national, uh, yeah. The cars games are fun. Uh, Downtown Run, a uh, Ubisoft game. Mm, what this game is one of the best racing games in history. I don't care. What you think? I think this game is amazing. I think this game is underrated. This is created by Codemasters. And the amount of times that I play this game with friends is ridiculous. Give it a go. Please play this game. Please play this game. Downhill Domination is the game, is the game for you to play. Look. Yeah, it doesn't have online. So get a friend if you have one. Hopefully you do. Um, or two, or three, even better. And, you know, invite them over and play this game. You're gonna have a blast. Amazing, exquisite game. Uh, Downforce. Journey to the Purple Planet, Dora the Explorer. Don Quixote. This is a game that I picked up in Spain. Happy because I think it's exclusive to that country or not. Maybe Europe. Doomsday Races. Dog's Life. Dash Ball. <coughs> DJ Dex and FX. Dirt Truck Devils. That's cool. This guy too. Yeah, all right, strategy game. Uh, finish game, Dinosaur Adventure. Tarzan, free ride. I used to love the one in the PS1. Pickles, big game. Uh, 3D platformer, which I think is quite fun. Disney's Peter Pan, The Legend of Neverland. Disney's uh, Donald Duck, PK. <clears throat> this is Kim Possible, amazing game. This is a very good game. Uh, this is Donald Duck Attack at uh, a quack. Du Duck Quack Attack. Eh. Okay. And we have Drug uh, Racer USA. Uh, fitness game. <laughs> Dr. Muto, game that I picked up again in Spain when I went there. Um, haven't played it yet, well, and one of the best JRPGs um, of all time, uh, Dragon Quest VIII, The Journey of the Curse King. I love this game so much, man. I think this is one, like I said, one of the best JRPGs in history. 
Uh, and then we have Extreme Legends Dynasty Warriors 3. Um, Dynasty Warriors games are not um, my favorite type of games, but I understand why people like them. Um, Dynasty Tactics 2, this one, more up my alley, because it is a strategy game. Dynasty Tactics, the original. Dual Master Limited Edition. DT Racer, racing game. Dropship and United Peace for S Driving Emotion Type S. A, uh, a square soft racing game, you don't see that every day. Driver Parallel Lines, which is actually a very good game. Driver 3 or Driver, uh, yeah, Driver. I uh, used to love Driver 1. I play a lot of Driver 2 on the PS1. And then this one I play a little bit. I think it's. I, no, I play it like, quite a bit. And I think it's a good game. I Yes, I understand that it's not GTA San Andreas. But, you know. Um, Driven to Destruction. Very fun. Tracking R2. Uh, I still need to get into these games. Tracking R. Very expensive games, these two, but they're okay. Dragon! Interesting, interesting game. Dragon Rage. One of the most. Oh, this dust is making me. Ooh. One of the most expensive PS2 games. Um, and that is Dragon Ball Z, Dra uh, Budokai Denkaichi 3, one of my favorite games of all time on the PS2. Beautiful, you have, how many characters you have? You have over 160 characters, that is, that is ridiculous, like, wow. I mean, I'm not complaining, but why would you have so many? You don't even, I want to play the game again, you know. I want to unlock everyone. Um, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi, Spanish version, I think, or European version. Uh, and Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. And finally, to finalize video number two, we got Budokai, uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai, the first one, the one that started all in the PS2. Boom! We did it again! We just went through, what, 170 games again for part two. Hope you really enjoyed that. We got so much more. So, you see that empty deck? That's part two, right? Then you go part three, four, five, six, seven, and there's one more at the bottom, eight. I'm going to do eight parts of PS2 games. Hope you enjoyed that. This library in the PS2 is amazing. Um, so if you enjoyed that video, please remember to hit the like button, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. Share with your friends uh, so they can watch this amazing collection. One of the biggest on YouTube, for sure. Uh, so stay tuned. And part number three, I'll be making it soon um so uh really happy that we got this done uh stay tuned for part number three and take it